Good evening, everyone watching here on the live stream. Welcome. We're at Percy Perry Stadium for the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. Team West versus Team East. Team East in the orange. We're going to start with a Mount Boudreaux running back there, getting eight yards. This is grade 11s and 12s. We've been here all day. It's been a great event. Put on by CanadaFootballChat.com, and we're off and running. There will be no kicking or no special teams in this game. 15-minute quarters. Teams can elect to punt. And Team East with a good eight-yard gain to start the game off. It's going to be stopped. Just short. Tato Ferrero Arrera out of Pitt Meadows. Number 12 is, is the starting quarterback. And they get a first down here, Team East. The first down early. Tato's going to look to pass. He's got pressure, and he is taken down by number two. Sorry, a lot of ch ch changing numbers today. Don't have a number two on the roster. Maybe Udstad, I believe. Actually, Udstad's 99, but we don't have a two on the roster. I'll try to get that fixed for you guys, but that was a great play by him. Loss of seven to bring up second and 17 for the East. A lot of sponsors. Soren Halschmidt, number two, big play. Playing for Mount Douglas there. Tato's going to look to pass. He's looking deep. He has number seven, but it's just overthrown. Trying to get to Bryson Johnson. Most of these guys in grade 11, there's a couple grade 12 players. Most of these guys are going to be in their last year of high school eligibility playing across British Columbia. The great thing about the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge, it's the best of BC. A lot of guys from the Okanagan, the island, interior, and also the lower mainland. Third and 17 for East. Tato underneath him. He fumbles it. He tries to get on it. And he's going to be taken down by Soren Hallschmidt. And Hallschmidt again with a, his second big play of the day. 
and how the punting works is it's just going to be 30 yards downfield each time. So Team West will start about at their own 45-yard line. One of our main sponsors for the Canada Football Chat.com Prospect Challenge is Fox 40. It's a proud partner, partner and athletic supplier of the FPC. Fox 40, the official peerless whistles worldwide. Authentic, original. And now the West is going to take over here. They're at their own 45 yard line. QB for the West is Nate Hunt. Plays at Holy Cross here. And the West team has some very good players along with the East. This is the best of the best here in British Columbia. Tion Alexander Moore is the running back. He's going to get it. Makes one guy miss. Keeps his legs moving. He's going to pick up a gain of three on that hard fought run for Tion Alexander and Moore. Tion Alexander is actually in Notre Dame. He's in grade 10 playing. And it's going to be second and six after that run. Hunt's in the shotgun. Amore beside him. Hunt's going to take off himself. Looks to the right. Makes a couple guys miss. Keeps driving. And then a bunch of East defenders are around to stop him. But not before Hunt picks up the first down. There's a couple Terry Fox players playing in this. That unbelievable provincial final that was ended after a missed field goal against Notre Dame this past year. Great year in the AAA and AA. Even Tier 2, we have some Pitt Meadows players here. The Pitt Meadows team went undefeated in Tier 2. Hunts in the shotgun. High snap. He's going to get it to number 24, Mason Reeves from Terry Fox. Big running back, 6 feet, 212 from Terry Fox. Didn't run a lot last year for the Ravens because they had two great 12... Two great grade 12 running backs. But on the defensive side, he had 16 tackles for the Terry Fox Ravens, the eventual champions. And he picks up four, four and a half. So it's going to be second and six. Hunt in the shotgun. Reeves beside him. Hunt's going to look to pass. Has his target, but it is incomplete. He was looking for Devin O'Hay from Argyle, who had a big year for Argyle last year as a grade 11. 22 receptions, 253 yards, which was good enough for second on his team in receiving yards, and he had four touchdowns. Also a great defensive player, O'Hay. He had 37 tackles, good enough for third on that Argyle Pipers squad. So third and six. Hunt's going to fake it to Reeves, and he's going to book it right. One guy to beat, and it's a nice tackle there. By number 21, Daniel Santos from GW Graham out in Chilliwack. Great program there in the AA varsity. It's going to bring up third and six. Actually, there's going to be a penalty. It's going to be declined on the defense. It's going to be a first down. The play will stand. And the chains are moving here. West moving the ball early. Here at the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. We got Hunt 
Under center. Hunt's going to look to pass. Gets pressure. Moves right. Looks for a target. He's got him. That's O'Hay. That's O'Hay. And O'Hay, what can you say? That's a touchdown to start this off. The West get on the board first. Hunt to O'Hay. We're going to have a convert now for one point. Just kind of all-star rules. But that's a great play by Nate Hunt, finding Devin O'Hay to score early in this one. They're going to look for the one-point conversion here. Hunt gets a snap, high snap, gives it to Reeves. Reeves up the middle, and he is in. 7-0 to zero for the West. And that was a great drive by the West there. Finished off in the end zone. Hunt to O'Hay from 45 yards out for the score. It is 7-0 for the West. If you're a football player who wants to show off your skills in a competitive environment, be sure to look out for the 2018 Fox 40 Prospect Challenge schedule that will come out in September of this year. Visit CannibalFootballChat.com for more information. And the East is going to be back at it. The ball at the 40. Tato gets the snap. He's going to get it to Matt LaBelle. Nathan Eldridge from Belmont with the tackle. Belmont Bulldogs. Matt LaBelle from Mount Bougery looks like to be the lead back so far for the East up in Kelowna there. Looks like we got some movement on the line. And it's going to be a false start on the east, which is going to move them five yards back, and they'll be second and 15 now. This is our third game of Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. We started at 11 with the, the grade 8s and grade 9s playing the best of the east and the west, where it was the east led by a couple good players from Vernon led the way there. And then the second game, we had an even better one. And it was the East winning that. So East 2-0, and oh, looking to make it three. Here's Tato. Looks to pass. Finds his target, Nathan Humes. Oh, it's actually incomplete. Drops it. Can't hold on. Mount Bougerie had a very good year last year. Made it to the playoffs. Unfortunately lost to New West in the quarterfinals. But Nathan Humes was one of those guys. 364 yards last year. Second in receiving. Also had seven sacks, so he's a guy that definitely can play football. Here's Tato on the shotgun. He's going to give it to LaBelle. It's an end around. Fumbled. Nathan Tongay from Kelowna. And that's going to be four, so it looks like 30 yards from that, so... West now is going to get some great field possession here early on. Seven minutes left. They're already up 7-0. to zero. They'll look to go to work again. And West with good field position. They'll start just past midfield at the East 48 49 yard line. Mm -hmm. 
CFC Insider today watches all the rankings and premium information. Reeves in the backfield. Hunt about to get the snap. It's a reverse to Ohe. Ohe makes one guy miss. Makes another guy, but no. Great tackle by number 75, Jonathan Heaton, or JJ Heaton. Had a great year for Clarence Fulton. See Fulton last year, 27 tackles on the season. And it's going to be second now, second and 11. A little toss play to Amor. And some nice tackles there by Team East. I think Hunter Dessen from Mount Bougerie clipped him a bit there. Got his hand to his feet and tripped him up. His teammates did the rest. So now we're third and 13. Got a timeout here. Coaches talking to their team. The head coach of the West team is Coach Ray Moon. Has a great program in South Delta. He's the head coach. They won the championship three years ago. Hunt moves to his left. Tries to buy some time. Wants to throw it downfield. And great pressure by the East. Led by number 44, Austin Anthony Edgson from Prince George. And it's going to be... And they're going to do the punt. So East will take over from their own 20. We would like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors for today's great event, Fox 40, Big Kahuna, Sports Specific Training, Russell Athletics, Spalding, CFL, Capital QBs, and CanadaFootballChat.com. This has been a great event, and we're still a full game away. And this is the pinnacle game of the day, the varsity. A lot of these guys are going to lead their teams next year as grade 12s. Tato Ferrero Herrera. He's going to give it to LaBelle. LaBelle's going to cut inside. Getting some good blocks. Give credit to that East offensive line. Giving LaBelle a big hole there. And a gain of nine to start this drive off. That's what they needed. Tato, LaBelle, right side, off tackle, find some room. Good enough for a first down there. Connor Elliott and Hayden Davis pushed him out of bounds. New fresh set of downs here for Team East. Tato's got two receivers to his left. He's going to give it to LaBelle again. Outside. Pushes forward for a gain of almost five. Maybe four. Going to bring up second and six. Second and six here. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Got Tato in the shotgun. Two receivers to his right. Two receivers to his left on the wide side. LaBelle in the backfield. 
He's going to look to pass. Got some big pressure, but he gets it off anyways. And that's 21. Kent Hodges from Mowat there. Good catch. Pass, catch. And it's good enough for a first down. And Team East starting to move the ball well here er late in the first quarter. This time, Nathan Humes on the left in the tight end position. Two reverses to the right. It's going to be LaBelle this time. And he's going to pick up four yards, but that's uh, number 26, Hayden Davis, with the with the tackle there. Hayden Davis last, last year had 18 tackles for the Argyle Pipers with one sack in there. So a very good defensive player. Now we have trips left. Second and five. Tato. Quick throw to Humes. And a great catch by Nathan Humes. Good throw. Good throw by Tato. Ferrero Herrera. Great handle. It's going to be third and in inches. Here's LaBelle. Up the gut. Running well. Matt LaBelle out of Mount Bougerie, running well. Great 11 kid. That Mount Bougerie program has been building and building the last couple of years, getting better. A lot of talent in, in the Kelowna area with Kelowna Secondary. Also Rutland's there. And then just up the lake in Vernon. So it's first and 10 now. East moving the ball. First time for them in enemy territory. LaBelle's gonna get it again, up the gut. He's gonna push forward, keeps going. Help with him, his old line, he's driving. And he's gonna pick up seven there. Hayden Davis wrapped up early, but uh, that the help with his east, the east offensive line pushing LaBelle further helped the cause. And that was three yards turned into seven. So now it's second and three. Tato in the shotgun. Trips out to his left. Single receiver to his right. He's going to look left. He's going to look up the middle. That's Humes. Big catch. Nathan Humes. Great throw by Tato. Great catch by Humes. That's the end of the first quarter. The West got off to an early lead. Seven to zero. And now the East is driving here at the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. This whole event has been put on by CanadaFootballChat.com the nation's number one amateur football recruiting and news site. They just recently launched the Class 2018 CFC 100 Top Player Rankings. The list compiled from the last four months by the CFC Scouting Bureau ranks the top 100 players entering university in 2018. So we have a couple of those guys on playing today on the top 100 list. Soren Hamelschmidt from number Two here on Mount Douglas. He's uh, in the top 100. Paul Jeet Dami from Notre Dame is in the top 100. Jake Oudsted from Mount Douglas is in the top 100. Newton Benson on the east from Kelowna is on that top 100. So a lot of great players playing. And I think there's going to be some more on that top 100 after the, their performance in this one. 
And the East is going to take over now. They're 20. They're 10 yards out. Just past, maybe 13 yards out. Fresh set of downs after that pass to Nathan Humes. Tato's going to give it to LaBelle. And a great tackle by O'Hay. I was telling you earlier, he was the one that got the touchdown. But he also last year had 37 tackles for his Argyle Pipers. Good enough for third on the team in tackles. Second and 10 now. Tato in the shotgun. LaBelle to his right. Two receivers to his right as well. He's going to look there to pass. Just overthrown. His intended target was number 31, Liam Clark. It's going to bring up third and 10 now. 12 yards out. The East are behind by seven. In the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. Two receivers to his left. The bell beside Tato. Tato's going to take it himself. He's got pressure. He's just going to dump it off to Humes. And then a great tackle by O'Hay from Argyle there. Taking down the big man, Nate Humes. And it's automatically go for it if you're inside the 50. If you're passing the offense of 50, automatically go for it. So it's either fourth and four, or if they get five, it will be a touchdown. Tato fumbles the snap, still gets it to LaBelle. LaBelle's going to scatter, looks inside. Might be enough for a first down. Just short. LaBelle showing his scattering speed. LaBelle's only 5'7", 130, but he can get away from those tackles. And that's a first down. That's big for the East on fourth down. And now, first and goal from the one. Gives it off to LaBelle. LaBelle's pushing forward. That offensive line's helping him out just short. Good goal line stand by the West defensive line there. So they are just inches away. From the one, inches. Chino's got a speech about that. Tato, LaBelle again, up the gut, pushing forward, pushing forward, and he's in, untouched. Gets away, they can't even take him down. LaBelle, Matt LaBelle from Mount Bougerie, Kelowna kid for the touchdown. And we are one point away from this game being all tied up with 11 minutes around that left in the first half. Tato there in the shotgun. 
LaBelle to his right. He's going to fake it. Tato's going to roll out. And he's going to hit Bryson Johnson, I believe. Is that who just scored? Yeah, I think they just have one number on. And that was a good catch to Johnson. We are all tied up. The convert is good. So West now will take over at the 40-yard line, get their offense moving like they did in the opening quarter. Had a good score on their very first drive. After that, the East defense has stepped up and stopped this West offense from moving the ball. But we are tied now here in Coquitlam. Substitution coming in. Team West looking to answer back here to get number six in the line. I do too. I certainly do. Uh, Nate Hunt back under center too. He's got Amor beside him. That's who gets the ball. Cuts outside. Just can't get away from the tackle. Number 32, Nate Schroeder from Mount Bougerie. A lot of Mount Bougerie players on this East team. Second and six. Hunt's got two receivers to his right, two to his left. It's going to be Amor. Amor's going to push forward. This guy can really run. Keeps his feet moving. Shouldn't have even been a gain, but that's what this kid does. Gets two yards there. It's going to be third and three. Third and four. Team West. Have the ball. They got off to an early lead with a great pass from Hunt to O'Hay for a 45 yard touchdown. And East last drive, they get on the board plus a convert to make it 7 7. Hunt's got three. Receivers to his right, but it looks like the East defense got a little anxious there. Jump forward, and that's going to be an automatic first down. A big play for the West there. Good snap count, making the defense jump. Same formation as before. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. More in the backfield. And it's gonna be, Hunt's gonna take it himself. Tries to get away, but he can't. And that's a great tackle by number 55, Ryan Schuster. Loss of about a yard and a half, bringing up second and 12. East defense play it very solid. Last 12 minutes. Hunt to a more. And he is stuffed. Number 32, that's Nate Schroeder. Again, he had a big tackle earlier in this quarter. Does it again here. Mason Reeves checks in at the running back position for Amor. No, 
Two receivers to his right. Hunt in the shotgun. Reeves beside him. He's got to get out of the... And that is Ryan Schuster from Rutland. More Kelowna, guys. Doing work. Actually, that's been Griffin O'Connor. Excuse me. Lord Tweedsmere. He had nine sacks lot this past season. Good enough for first on his team and 35 tackles. Griffin O'Connor. That's a huge stop for the East. Led by Griffin O'Connor on the defensive line there from Lloyd Tweedsmere. And we're going to get that automatic punt. 30 yards the other way, and the East will take over with seven minutes left. we got a tie here at the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge, grade 11-12s. Seven minutes left in the quarter. Last possession, East went 55 yards for the score. This time they take over at their own 26-yard line. Tato looking to pass. Has pressure from Havel Schmidt. And he just throws it, throws it away. Actually, that was Jake Unstead. Mount Douglas have many great players on that defensive line. Obviously, Hall Schmidt being one of them and Jake Usted. Both CFC top 100 players. So it's going to be second and 10. LaBelle. He's going to get three yards, but he's taken down by... Jake Unstead again. Two great plays by Unstead back to back here. Mr. Jake, six, one, two, 55. Coach for the East, Travis Bell. Also a member of the CFC took over from Kelly two years ago for that WJ Moat. Great program out in Abbotsford. Tato. Looks to run away. He's got some time. He pushes forward. And Kareem Oburn from Notre Dame helps take him down. Not after a gain of seven on the play. To make it fourth and three, but they're going to elect a punt. So West now will take over. A great battle between both these teams early. 7-7, seven, seven, six minutes left in the first half. It's been a great day of football here out in Coquitlam. It's going to be 30 yards for the West takes over. First and ten. All right, back out. Nate Hunt, the QB pivot. Expect Hunt to play most of the game. There's not a, another QB on Team West roster here. Similar to Tato on East. Here's Hunt. He's going to call his own number up the middle. Tries to make a couple guys miss, but still going to push forward for a gain of three or four on the play. It's going to bring up a second down. Clock's running. Five minutes left in the first half. Hunt got, has trips left. One receiver on the far side, Mason Reeves. Reeves is going to get it. He's going to push forward. And he's going to pick up three or four to make it a manageable third down, third and short. Well, I thank all of our volunteers today that are working the Fox 40 
Bowie Thomas, as well as all of our event coordinators. It's going to be third and two. Four minutes left now. West looking to get one more score up on the board before halftime. Trips right. Ooh, looks like some movement going on. Regarding the referees, the CFL are using this varsity game to evaluate their amateur officials. CFC's platform delivers highlights, interviews, and behind the scenes content from the 27 Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. So check that out. Trips right, gets the snap, gets it to a more. Nice run there for four. The kid from Notre Dame, Tion Alexander Amore. Maybe second and six. Nate Hunt, three receivers to his right. Far side, one receiver. Amore in the backfield. He's going to fake it to him, and he's going to go left. Trying to get away. Gets away from one, but not two. Doesn't pick up any yards, but good on Hunt to get away from that first because it could have been a loss of five or six, but turns it into only a loss of one. So it's going to bring up third and seven now. Very evenly matched two teams. The West having the Vancouver Island teams and as well as most of the lower mainland. And then Abbotsford, Interior, and North is part of the East team. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Amore. Hunt throws it deep. He's got a guy and just out of the reach. Just out of the reach of Jordan Avani. They're going to call a timeout here. And it's going to be fourth down. They're just past the 50 yard line. So, with these rules, you have to go for it. CanadaFootballChat.com put on this event. Become a CFC insider today to access all rankings and premium information. CFC, raising the bar for amateur football. Oh, and he got his own guy to jump there. So now they might be able to punt. It's going to be five yards back. It's going to be fourth and 13 now. See, see what Coach Ray Moon wants to do here. And they're going to just punt. So Team East will take over with 145 left in this one. Tie game. West got off to a good start. East battled their way back to get a touchdown and a conversion. And now East is taking over here. And they also will start with the ball in the second half. They're going to start with the ball at around their own 25-yard line. Tato Ferrero, Herrera, QB from Argyle. He's going to look to pass. 
Looks for Humes just out of the reach of him, and he can't hold on. It's going to bring up second and ten. Second and ten. Third game of the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. The last of the games they've been going over in Ottawa, in Montreal. Two receivers to the left. But he's going to give it to LaBelle. LaBelle makes one guy miss. Cuts to the outside. He's going to pick up a solid gain of five or six. It's going to be third and five now. Time's running, 50 seconds left. Trips left, LaBelle beside him at the running back position. Tato's going to quick hit it, looking for Johnson. It's just incomplete pass, fourth down. 30 seconds left, they'll do the auto punt. So the Team East will take over at their own 40 yard line. Around that, 44, 45. The 41 yard line. Different stages to this game. First, the West had the offense going. The East stepped it up, got their offense going, and now both defenses have been playing extremely well here at the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. Hunt in the shotgun, trips right. Some eager defense alignment there. Looking to get a jump. Oh, it's actually going to be a false start. So the false start's going to take Team West five yards back to make it first and 15. With five seconds to go in the half. So it's looking like last play of the half here. Hunt looking deep. Down the seam to O'Hay. What a catch. O'Hay, that connection was a, the touchdown earlier in the game. Hunt to O'Hay. And they're going to give them one last play. I think the. They're going to get one last play here. Team West. Looks like we're going to see how far Hunt can throw here. Hail Mary. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Throws up, little wheel rut. Oh, hey, just can't hold on. Good throw by Hunt, but good coverage by Santos there from GW Graham. Daniel Santos in coverage. That is the half.
here at the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge, grade eight, 11s and 12s, 7-7. Seven, seven. We have a tie going into the second half. It's been a fun one here. Join us back in five minutes. Second half is about to be underway here at the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge, put on by CanadaFootballChat.com. 7-7 seven, seven going into the second half. Team West lead. Excuse me. They have the ball. 7-7 seven, seven here. First and 10. Team West in the white. Team East in the orange jerseys. Hunt to Reeves. Reeves up the middle. But Timothy Gersnick from WJ Moat with a big tackle from that D tackle position. How we got here to 7 7. First quarter. Hunt to Devin O'Hay. 45 yard touchdown. They got a conversion. East defense stepped up, got the ball back for their team. And in the second quarter, it was Matt LaBelle running in from one yard out. And they would get the conversion as well to tie it up. So a good battle here at Percy Perry Stadium in Coquitlam. Second and 10. Hunt's going to take it himself. Looks outside, but it's 55. It's Griffin O'Connor from Lord Tweedsmere with its third sack of the day, I believe. It's going to bring up third and 14. Third and 14. Hunt with Reeves beside him. Two receivers to his left, two receivers to his right. He's going to look to throw. Drops back. Has a target. And just out of bounds, the lines kind of got a little confusing there. That is too bad, though, because that was great pass and catch there to Jordan Avani from west side. Fourth and 14 now. So optional punt. East will take over for their first possession of the second half. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors for today's great event. Fox 40, Big Kahuna, Russell Athletics, Sports Specific Training, the CFL, Capital QBs, and CanadaFootballChat.com plus all the volunteers, coaches, film crew, everyone for a great day. We've been here since 11, and it's been 11-ish, 10. <laughs> like I said before, I'm not a math guy. I know it's it's been time, I guess. First and 10 here, Tato takes over the East team. QB, he's gonna take off, he has tons of room. And Devin O'Hay takes him down, but not after a huge gain. Tato from Pitt Meadows, quarterback of the team that won the Tier 2 championship. First and 10 now. Tato. To LaBelle. And LaBelle running well today. Gets close to 80 yards on the day. Matt LaBelle out of Mount Bougerie in Kelowna. Gets them another first down. So it's first and 10 in East. Moving the ball well on their first drive of the second half. Three 
Three receivers to the left. For the Pitt Meadows QB. He's going to look to throw. Sees a guy in the flats. Just over the head of Bryson Johnson out of W.J. Mowat. Second down, though, after the incomplete pass. Eleven minutes left in the third quarter. Tato Ferrero Araya in the shotgun. LaBelle to his right. He's going to look that way. Fakes it. He's on the move. Looks right. Just trying to get to the back to the line of scrimmage, and he does, and maybe picks up one as well. That's second, third and nine now for the East, which is. It's just go for it if you're past the 50-yard line. So about two downs now to pick up nine yards. Three receivers to the left. Looks to his right, though, and hits Johnson. This time that works out. They're going to say his knee was down. Tackled by Hayden Davis. So it's going to be fourth down here. They need to get just past the 26-yard line. Tato's about to get the snap here. And they snuff this one out. One just misses him, but he still throws it up, and it's all to reach. It's a turnover on downs. Good pressure from Robert Savage there from Hansworth. Pressure Tato into throwing the ball away. And the West now. And I'm being joined by Lee Barrett, one of the founders of CanadaFootballChat.com. And Lee, we've played two full games and one half, and this is the pinnacle game, the grade 11-12s. How's this whole day been for you? And uh, obviously the first time in British Columbia that yep. you've been doing the Fox Fox Prospect, uh, Fox Prospect 40 Prospect Challenge. Yeah, we're uh, you know happy with the results. Uh, we're not. Uh, we don't care who wins or loses, but yeah. we just want some good competitive games with some uh, people showing their, showcasing their talents. We've had all that, so it's uh, check that off as a, as a victory for the day. And Hunt to O'Hay there for 13 yards. It's always cool to see that uh, the chemistry that, obviously they don't play together all the time, but obviously we've seen O'Hay who goes to Argyle and uh, Hunt, from uh, Holy Cross. You kind of you see that sometimes and. Uh, it's good to see in, in the all-star format, right? Yeah, for sure. Kudos to the coaches for, you know, putting together uh, some systems that uh, the kids can uh, relate to and identify with that, uh, you know, put them in the right position to, to be successful. So coaching has been uh, outstanding all day. And I know you're part of the, the CFC 100 list. Are there any guys that maybe from this game could put themselves on the list? Well, there are definitely um, – Clint Utley is here, wh who's the, the, the guy who coordinates our uh, and, and heads up our uh, scouting bureau is definitely uh, ticking off names. Uh, uh, the target there is definitely um, uh, number 12 has had a good game. And yep. There's definitely some other ones who are on the list already yep, that uh, sure. aren't hurting their stock, we'll say. Yeah, just look at the, those two um, Mount Doug mm -hmm. defenders, uh, mm -hmm. Jake Unstead and... Uh, yeah, Jake's have a great game. And uh, Soren Halschmidt, yeah. Um, tell us a little, little bit about um, 
CanadaFootballChat.com and, and how yep. to become a CFC insider and, yep. and what are the benefits of being a part of the CFC family. Yeah, for sure. The uh, CanadaFootballChat.com, it's the, uh, the number one amateur football news and recruiting site in the country. Uh, founded in 2010. Uh, the CFC Insider is something we launched about five years ago. It uh, it allows the you know the the passionate fan, player, um, coach to get a little bit more. You know they get uh, a couple articles published each day that have you know could be an analysis from our uh, some of our, our great columnists. It could be a profile on one of the CFC 100 players. Also, they have access to all our, our exclusive rankings, including the CFC 100, which uh, for people that don't know, it's the top 100 kids ranked going in uh, that are going to go into the university the following year. We've also uh, launched this year the CFC 60, which is the top junior college and CGIP players. So, um, you know, we're just... Uh, oh, play. Wide open there. Jake Bennett gets the catch from Hunt, and that's a big play. This game is tied 7-7 in the third, and that's a big play to get it into the red zone. He was wide open there. Hunt to Bennett. Bennett from Hansworth, who was more of a defensive player last year, actually didn't have one offensive play in Hansworth looking up the stats, but mm -hmm. he was all over the de defensive side playing for Hansworth last year. But that's what you see with these great 11s because so many of them are great athletes, yep. and sometimes there's just always – maybe a better or a grade 12 ahead of you. So this is great for some of these grade 11s mm -hmm. here that yep. were grade 11 this year and maybe didn't get much playing time, but now they're stepping up in different avenues. Like, I don't think, yep. you know, Bennett didn't play receiver at some. high school. And here's Amor running up the middle. And that's, I think he's met by Griffins there, number 55, 59 there. Sometimes it's a great opportunity just to show your own high school coach, oh, yeah, I can, I can exactly. play this position. Yeah. Look how well I did, so. Um, you know, not only showcasing to the, the scouts or just to your parents, but you can also showcase to your own coach to say, hey, you know, yeah, put, put consider me, me yeah, yeah. for this position as well. And just looking at this whole process, getting to this point for these guys, um, yeah. how impressed are you with the turnout that you've seen at the regional combines and then obviously cutting it down to still, you know, there's about six, you know, 50 to 60 guys playing on the field right now. Yeah, for sure. It, it's uh, It's been a... It's a long process, but a rewarding one. Hunts up, and it's what a catch. And that's a kid from West Side. The high school is called West Side. I think it's somewhere in the interior, if I'm not mistaken. But that is, give him his props there. That is number 80 there, Jordan Avani from the school West Side. 5'9", 145, and he almost made a catch earlier, and he makes a big catch there. And I guess they call him out at the one so we're going to be first and goal here at the maybe one and a half to two yard line and that's what we were talking about this whole day uh, I talked about you and Dino is those these smaller school guys that get yep. to come and, and play with all the best yep. and here's Hunt on the QB sneak he's going to get some help from a couple of his teammates they're still going to call it, they're going to call it a touchdown Nate Hunt with the touchdown Throws one and now gets one with the QB sneak. So now it is 13-7 for Team West. Four minutes left in the third quarter. And that's what what we want to see in this game is highly competitive action back and forth. And the way because it was low scoring before, it's just because the defense was stepping up. You're gonna we've kind of seen these different times of this game where the offense is rolling the defense yep. then the defense steps up and stops them it's mm -hmm. been it's been very fun to watch and sometimes it just takes the offense a quarter or something just to figure out what they're trying to do on offense as far as their plays definitely and, and just you know doing it at full speed you yep. can practice as much as you want but uh when you get the the full speed competition sometimes you got to work out some little kinks Hunt's going to try to get a slant pattern there to Bennett. It's incomplete, but they have a six-point lead now with four minutes left. And just getting back to the combines, I know you had you had a yep. great result with you had, and, and in year one, you got to be happy with that's you know the very first year and the hard work that that you've had from yourself yep. and uh, your West Coast guys um, because those numbers just from now here on out are definitely going to rise. Yeah, we're, we're extremely happy with, uh, you know, the path we're on. The, this is game 19 of 19, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's it's uh, it's a lot of work and uh, there's a lot that goes into it, but uh, you get as much out of it. So, uh, and, and 
for the kids and the players as well. I mean, they go through three phases, right? They got the tryout phases where they're usually a regional tryout close to their home. Then they get invited to a selection camp, and at that selection camp we had the Combines, um, which this year I get, it was at New Westminster High School. And then and then obviously it culminates in the game. They get chosen, and, and uh, to play the game, they practice, and here they are showing off their skills. And that's LaBelle off tackle there to the right-hand side. Good defensive stop by number 11 there on Team West. It's going to bring up, uh, don't like to see that. It's been a fairly healthy day. But, yep, this is our first one of the day, knock yes. on wood, but it looks like a cramp. He's been running hard yes. all day. Yeah, Matt LaBelle out of Mount Bougerie. And that's what I, the, th the biggest takeaway I've had. Obviously, all great players, but uh, the Okanagan has definitely impressed in each game. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he's all right. Yeah, I think you might be right just with the cramp there. But yeah. it's going to be... Just not sure. Uh, he's back in I'm the not home. sure he'll be able to shake it off, how much he'll be able to participate the rest of... Uh, I believe he would have to come off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so too. He, he tried. He tried, yeah. It's going to be second and ten. East have put some good drives together the last couple times. Since their touchdown, haven't been able to push forward. There's been, I think, the defensive line play in every level, especially last game, and this one too, is just showing that the talent of how impressive some of these kids are. Yeah, the defensive line, what I've seen in these three games, is it, it may have overall been the most, most, most athletic group For sure. of all the positions. I mean, obviously the receivers are athletic, the defensive backs are yep. athletic, but just... Uh, the athleticism just within the group of defensive linemen. Uh, you know, we had some kids with uh, just running around the, the poor offensive line at uh, certain points of the game. Yeah. Just it's, I got to think out of all three games collectively, the defensive line has been my o most impressive group. Oh, for sure. There's been some, you know, good all around. You know, we've seen some, some inter like some good coverage too on some of these wide receivers downfield. Like there, you know, there's been a couple big plays, but I think, uh, the DBs on each team and every level has kind of kept some of these star players mm -hmm. um, to not that much. Running back to the right side, number 37, Dion Kelly from GW Graham. Had 357 yards rushing last year, third for on the team, and also had 23 tackles and one interception playing for GW Not much there, so it's going to bring up third and ten. And Tato, the QB, two receivers to his right, two receivers on his far side on the left. LaBelle to his left. He's going to look left. Little swing pass to LaBelle. He's going to get away from one. But he's not going to get away from Philip Brohovic from Mount Douglas, team captain of that Mount Douglas team as a grade 11 last year. 27 tackles and three sacks on the season. And a lot of, you know, coming from, uh, you know, obviously from Ontario coming, you know so much probably have heard of Mount Douglas. It's, it's an amazing program that they do mm -hmm. on the island there. You see, you know. Yep, I think about we, today, there's probably almost 13, 14, 15 guys from yeah, for that sure. Mount Douglas yeah. program. And we're very aware. I mean, uh, Mount Douglas is one of the programs that's always in our CFC 50, the top 50 yeah. high school rankings. And then obviously they've got a lot of players over the years yeah. that have been in their top 100. For sure. Uh, you know, including the likes of, uh, of Marcus Davis. Yes. Uh, yeah. I believe he was in the top five uh, in his graduating year. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's impressive what they've been able to do with that program. Obviously... Last year they were they were pretty close to going for I think their fourth or fifth championship in five years or something. Mm -hmm. Which give it to Coach Mark Townsend out in Mount yep. Douglas because if you think about it, those aren't the same players winning the championship. No. You're re oh, you're always rebuilding, and we see it here that you know most of these guys here are in grade 11, and we saw in the earlier game grade 10, and even some of the grade eights and nines, right? Yeah, Mark runs a great program. It's uh, it's one of those uh, rare year-round programs where he's got the kids in the weight room, and it really makes a difference uh, in the fall when uh, the kids have been in the weight room and, and physically prepared maybe more than their opponent. And East couldn't 
capitalize there. They had a turnover on down, so the West will take over. It's going to be a pitch to Amor. He cuts back inside, keeps his feet moving. Tough kid to bring down. He's going to pick up a solid maybe six yards on the play. Five or six. A minute left in the third quarter. But no, thank you for uh, having me be a part of this as well yeah, because it's been it's been a great um, three games. I guess mm -hmm. this this one's in over, and it's it's been fun to watch these kids and what you and I commend you um, and your whole crew um, because what you've put on today is is awesome for the football community, amateur football community. Because there's not enough of uh, good people like you putting stuff on this for these kids. So. Yeah, well, we appreciate you being involved, and, and believe me, it's if it wasn't for all the people that are involved in this, this wouldn't run as smoothly as it is. For sure. I've just been fortunate enough to have the right contacts and the right people in mm -hmm. order to do the heavy lifting. I just get out of the way and let them do it because they do a better job than I do. It's going to be third and three for the West. And two big-time coaches, too, in this one. We've talked about the coaches before. Obviously, Ray Moon with South Delta won a championship a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And then um, Travis Bell, yep. who took over that great W.J. Mowat program two years ago. Yep. Here's Hunt to Amor up the middle. Tries to get away from a spin move. But it's number 37, Dion Kelly from GW Graham get, making the tackle there. You no. got your co-offensive coordinators are Mark Towns and Tom, Tom Gudaba. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's great uh, coaches all around. For sure. And that is the quarter. Team West, Team West is uh, leads thirteen to seven. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for uh, I was off. Hmm? I was off. No, no. Great job. Yeah. Thirteen to seven for Team West. One quarter to play, but as we've seen throughout the whole day, you got to have some. Uh, Instinct in the fourth, because we've seen some teams come back. Last game, Team West was leading at the same point, and Team East came back and scored with a minute left to close that one out. So this has been a great day, and this game's been unbelievable, starting with the West scoring. Devin O'Hay from Hunt, 45 yards out. LaBelle from one yard out, and then Hunt on a QB sneak to go up six points. The West is driving. First and ten here. Hunt's going to look to throw. Pump fakes and then goes deep. And a great defensive play by Shane Claridge from GW Graham. 30 tackles last year for GW's grade 11 and two interceptions. And you can tell why he had those interceptions. Great play on the ball there. Just incomplete. Second and 10 now. Ball on the east 35 yard line. Nate Hunt, the QB, two receivers to his right. Two to his left. This time it's going to go to Reeves. Reeves just trying to get through. But it's number 92 there. Pushing Reeves back. Third and ten. Third and 10 for the West. They lead by six. 14 minutes left to go in the final quarter. Here's Hunt. Joel Hay, five yards. Four. 
Fourth and five, big play here in this game. Thirteen minutes left. You gotta go for it in this format. East needs to stop. West would like to keep driving. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Fourth and five. West looking for the first down. Hunt's gonna throw it. He's got a target. And that is Jake Bennett. And he's gonna go in for the touchdown, Jake Bennett. Normally a DB, but today has been an offensive threat at the wide receiver position. That's Hunt, second touchdown through the air and add that to his first rushing touchdown. We're at 19 to seven right now. Bring in Dino Jeremiah here, joining me. How you doing, Adam? Well, I've heard people say Jeremiah, and then I always say Jeremiah. It's uh, Jeremiah. I thought so. It's Jeremiah. See, I said that it's, first time. It's the best in your Italian accent. I know. Well, I remember when you used to be on, come on my show, it was Dino Jeremiah. Yeah. Well, actually, at first, it, I think it was, when I first met you, it was uh, Gino Jeremiah. <laughs> Here's Hunt for the conversion, looking to get some more points on the board. Trying to get to Reese. He's got it, it. And he's got it. So it's going to be 7 to 20. So what are your thoughts on this, the action we've seen uh, so far in this game? Well, it's been really tight. I thought uh, both teams really battling in the first half there and uh, pretty even. And now a couple of huge plays uh, with uh, Nate, Nate, uh, sorry, uh, Jake Bennett. Yep. Uh, making a couple of huge plays uh, to bring that well, it's, it's score all of a sudden. It's a, it's looking a little bit tough for, uh, for you know, East to come back. Well, I was talking about that earlier. Is, is Jake Bennett's the guy that actually didn't even have, wasn't even part of Hensworth's offense last year as a grade 11, more defense. But I was just saying, he might be proven to his, his coaches out in Hensworth now that uh, maybe that he should be in a, more of an offensive role. Yeah, next, for next sure. Year. Well, one of them's on the sideline, so. So he's seeing, he's see doing first it right hand. in front. Uh, it's going to be picked off. Oh. That's going to be someone from Belmont, I can say that. He's. Running hard, number 22 there, Connor Elliott with the interception there. That's a nice job, but that's from the pressure coming yep. from Jake Onstead. He's had a good game. He's chasing that quarterback all night, all day. Well, and just looking at this this uh, string of games, I think the defensive line must be might be the gold medal position if you were to rank the, you know, the skill and the. You yeah, know, the depth that you've seen. Yeah, yeah, at the for defense. Sure. And mind you, I always give credit to the O line, but the O line for an in an all star, obviously the intensity is always up. But you know, there's always so many different schemes blocking to, schemes, yeah, schemes and it's to not, remember. It, yeah, it's a little tougher to bring them together as a unit. For sure, it's uh, not just know. quarterback receiver. So you know, what I mean, there's yeah. more timing. But you know, knowing the guy to the right and the left to use always. No, 100%. That's always a little more difficult. And West on the is going to take line. over again. This is going to be a more. Nice little hurdle there. Shows his athleticism. And you actually yeah. saw the, uh, the kid from West Side, uh, Avani. Ivany. Avani, yeah, Ivany. Yeah, Ivany, yeah, no, he, you could, you could tell he, he made some big catches, one down on, on the, to the left of us here, and then even when he plays the ball in the air, because yeah. he doesn't intimidate you, you yeah. look at his size, he doesn't intimidate you, but the way he plays is very yeah. special, like yeah. when I saw him over there, it was a good defensive play, one that was thrown up, but still, the way he played the ball in the air, like, yeah, like some freak one athleticism. Of those, one of those smaller receivers that just uh, finds a way to make it happen, he's a very crafty, smart player. It's going to be a fake. Hunt's going to run. And he's going to pick up about four yards. That's a nice run. So what, do you th what are your thoughts of uh, the whole Fox 40 prospect challenge as a whole today? Obviously, we have still 11 minutes left, but it's uh, it's been a great experience I, for all these yeah, kids. Yeah, I think we've seen some great talent. It's been a great showcase for so many athletes. Um, you know, we've had a great day. The 
the from the coaches to the players, uh, you know, the fans, everything's been uh, positive. We've seen some great play on the field, uh, some great competition, a lot of players stepping up. That's what we want in this situation. We, you know, I always t tell the kids, hey, you want to do something that's going to make you better. Uh, I think we made players better today. Uh, we want to expose them, and I think a lot of players are going to have an opportunity. They've been exposed, and, uh, you know, we've got interviews going on and, you know, all the social media uh, hits and all that good stuff, so that's huge for the players. And at the end of the day, they want to have a great experience. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I think you touched on it earlier, but uh, they make new friends. Uh, football's a great game that way. They're going to be competing against each other this this season, and there's nothing better. And I've been on the sidelines when you see the players, and they've, They've battled hard, but because of these types of uh, games, they come together at the end of the game and can shake hands. And, yeah. you know, they've got those friendships built because of the game. And uh, I think that's too bad because I believe that was was Hunt that's knocked out of the game. So I'm pretty sure that's that's number, number 26. Yeah, that is uh, <laughs> Jake Bennett Jake doing Bennett. it all today. Yeah. Well, we saw we saw um, Williams in the grade ten. He's Hansworth. Obviously, yep. Sam Tholes moving on. He yep. was a great quarterback for them the last couple of years. Yeah, they've got uh, they've got a lot of good talent at Hansworth, and obviously, uh, going to be under some new tutelage with uh, Jay Prepchuk moving on. Yes. But uh, I think um, they've got a solid program, solid foundation, and and uh, they'll do well. Obviously, with the talent that we've seen here today, for sure. And obviously, schools like Lord Tweedsmere has kind of shown up a bit. Obviously, be interesting to see what they do because I thought they'd made a big stride this year in the way they played in um, regular season play. And yeah. now you add all those grade tens yeah. that won the provincial championship. And as yeah. we saw just the game before this, yeah. Here's Bennett, lefty, first lefty quarterback of the day. There we so go. That's something special. A little bubble fact. There we go. Pop up. The so snake. Be turnover on downs, and with nine minutes left, they're going to start with it at the their own 40. East still has a chance here. we got to move the ball a bit, but you know, only down 14 points. Yeah, I know, and, and you know, with the athletes on the, on the field, you know, there could be a good play, big play, make a, make a huge difference. Um. And I just even looking at the amount of people that have been here today, uh, a good good crowd. Yeah. Good crowds. There's Tato. He's going to hand it off to LaBelle. That's a nice tough run, but that defensive line from West is, uh, is a tough one. Yeah. You know, with those Mount Doug players and. Um, Paul G. Dammy and a couple yeah. of Notre Dame guys in there too. It's like a Mount Doug, Notre Dame defensive yeah. line that's uh, going to be a tough one to get much on. So hopefully, uh, like to see East make a big play yeah. here. There's to LaBelle. An end around. Oh. Get it. He's going to cut outside. He's got some room. Getting nice. close to the line of scrimmage, but good tackle there by Mason Reeves, who yeah. is probably going to step up big time in the, you know, they're going to be the reigning champs of uh, the, the reigning champs of Terry Fox. You know, last year he, yeah. he's a very good running back, but obviously behind two good grade 12 players yeah. in Schuen and obviously Jeremy Cancalongo. But he was great even last year, uh, you know, 18 tackles. No, he's a good solid, good, solid football player. It was nice to see a play by uh, Ned here from uh, Pemberton, representing Pemberton yes. Grizzlies, getting his opportunity. Oh, they're going to call uh, P.I. maybe. Uh, that was a little... Uh, and then that, that was on Being a defensive Ned. guy, that's a, little, uh, that's a little bit of a tough call there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no... That's what I was looking at, Pemberton. They play in an independent league, right, through their high school? Yeah, yeah. It's a very uh, unique situation they have up in Pemberton, but uh, just awesome for football. They've, they've yes. got uh, kids from Whistler, Pemberton. Yeah. And um, 
it's a great community. They've gotten behind football and they play uh, play games against uh, How Sound and, yep. and some of the community and have played nine man games. So it's just great to see football being played up there. And, For sure. And obviously kids wanting to come down here and show their skills as well. So here's Tato. He, I, I guess. Uh, Pitt Meadows got dropped down to Tier 2, right? And they ended up going undefeated and winning the yeah. Tier 2 championship, which is actually good. It was good even to see Eric Hamber actually in the finals because I know since they've started their football program, they've always been Tier 2, but still it was, uh, you know, kind of me growing up around that neighborhood. Yeah. Seeing them at least, you know, make it to the fi their first finals in their whole their history. Well, you know, they're the only public school in Vancouver that has a football yeah. program. and. You know, it would be so nice to see others. But, uh, you know, Eric Hamber obviously representing, giving a lot of kids in that area an opportunity to play this great game. And it's going to be first and ten. Yeah. yeah. Just out oh, of the reach. Yeah. Pit. You know, we were talking about, yeah, Tato, Ferrero, probably made it my favorite name. <laughs> Just a <laughs> name's important. <laughs> Tato Ferrero Herrera. Uh, yeah. But he's shown that, you know, he's only in grade 11. And, you know, this past, he's going to be in grade 12 next year. And depending on how things re get reshaped because there was a lot of reshaping in the league just like even in the preseason yeah yeah and even into after the season started there was some changes and yeah games with missed. Abbotsford yes up. yeah here's Tato it looks like a face mask there missed it but he's gonna push forward he's gonna yeah. be third and eight and I know a lot of these guys uh, see it uh, Canada football chat does a, lot, a good job of giving these kids exposure and yeah. I know you started something that helps them not just get exposure but teaching them the ways of how to and 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 how to pick a school you want to go to and how to keep playing football or any sport in that they're called the recruiting academy tell us a little bit about that yeah it's a opportunity for athletes uh, and again you touched on it not only football but all athletes at the high school level to start navigating through the recruiting process and just with my background at the university level and many years of experience of recruiting and going across the country and south of the border just uh, helping some of these young student athletes uh, navigate that process because it can be overwhelming and uh, you know more often than not the question is how do I get started where do I where do I start and uh, you know to start being proactive and starting a little younger is the biggest message I try to send so even the grade nines that we saw yeah. today starting that process then for sure yeah, I was able to go to one of your talks, and uh, where were you when I was in high school? I would have <laughs> played for sure. Yeah, there we go. And it's deep oh. to Johnson, and they got it. He's got it. He's about to score. Yeah, he's got it. 45 yards out. Tato to Johnson. And we got ourselves a ball game all of a sudden with five minutes and 30 seconds left. 20 to 13. They could make it a already a one-score game, but if they get this, then they won't even need to convert the next time around. Yeah, that makes things interesting. And they were looking for that throw a couple times today, just a bit overthrown, and eventually they can get it. And Johnson's another guy, W.J. Mowat guy going. I guess he's finished. He's in grade 12. Yeah, and that's the great thing about this. And you know, we haven't touched on it yet, but it gives these guys in grade 12 an opportunity to play another game and play with their their friends. And yeah. Again, get some exposure because it's not over when you're in grade 12. It's uh, just beginning. Yeah. And I'm a big advocate of uh, the BCFC and, and what, it, what it could do for some players. Or just, you know, if you don't want to go to school right away, Yeah. get some notoriety. Here we go. Tato gets it. Sees Humes in the flat, and he's in. He's and he in. gets the convert. Now we are, it's a six-point game here at Percy Perry Stadium in the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. Team East just scores to make it a six-point ball game with 5.30 left. Wow. Once again, we got a great game going on a here. Great finish. So now West is going to take over, and it looks like Hunt's back in. 
yeah, good to see him back. He did a great job for us last week playing in the Battle of the Best in Ottawa when uh, our, a lot of our BC kids here went against uh, some Ontario. Great talent on the field on both sides but uh, some and great plays. But uh, Nate really did a great job for us uh, running the ball, and you're seeing some of the things that he did for us uh, last week here today. You're going to take over at first and ten, and that – the great thing, obviously, knock on wood, because we're only five minutes away. The game's not over yet. But the only t time I saw a guy injured was Nate. But, I mean. I don't think you should talk about it now. Yeah. I think that's uh, Sorry. something we should just uh, no, I know. watch that's, the game. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not a football guy move. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we got a drone yeah. on the top of the field. Some more. No, oh, and now we're seeing some big plays from that uh, East defensive line. Yes. It's nice to see grade 12 Newton Benson. He's going to University of Manitoba. And oh, great. He, uh, he's playing on a defensive tackle there from Kelowna. Nice to see him in the game. Nice to see some of those guys, like we just said, do grade 12s. And like you said, s some of these guys may be playing in the BCFC next year. For sure. And this is a great opportunity for them to showcase themselves and keep that football alive i think you know what with this drone i think team ontario is trying to steal some plays <laughs> they're scouting yeah here's nate hunt second and 11 east need to stop they're gonna give it to a more more's gonna cut outside oh. makes one guy oh, miss but that's a no. great tackle i believe that's santos or hunter Desson. Yeah, no, that is nice Daniel Santos, I believe, yeah. from GW Graham. That's a nice tackle. Because if uh, Tion got around that corner, there wasn't yeah. much there because he's got that good speed. It's interesting here. Third and long. Third and long. Clock's ticking. You got to think that it's still. And it is, obviously, you want to win, but in an all star format, they'll go for the first down. You would yeah. think not just a running play. Yeah. Well, and the, you know, you the good know. thing is they got Nate Hunt back there. The, he, yeah. he, he can he can take off and run with For it. For sure. So he is a threat. And Hunt's going to look deep. Too much oh. pressure. He's got a guy open, oh, no. but it's picked off by Santos. Santos with two huge plays. Wow. First the shoelace tackle and then the interception. Now That's a hell of a play. That's a, a tough six. one. Who the pressure the, got early. Who needs the punt when they just got an interception? Three minutes left, and they're down six. And they've proven last time around they score on their last possession with a big play. Yeah, Nate trying to make something happen there, Nate Hunt, and got chased out of the pocket early. Yeah, tough when you're trying to make a play and, you know, Probably better, coaches probably tell him, you know, you can just throw that one out of bounds. And these young guys always trying to make a <laughs> big play, right? There's Tato. He's gonna give it to LaBelle. Oh, like this nice guy cut. running, keeps his feet moving. No one can take him down. He's oh. gone, Tw the 10. Touchdown, oh, oh, Matt hey. LaBelle. Oh. All the way from Mount Bougerie, Kelowna. Wow. The Kelowna kids are here at the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. Hell of a run. Hell and of just a run. like that, they are a conversion away of leading this game when they were down 13 points with five minutes left. Nice cutback. Guys had, him, guys had him wrapped up and missed the tackle. He did a nice little shift. Great feet. That's one for the highlight reel. Yeah. Get that on huddle ASAP. Yeah. Put that in your highlight tape. Yes. Lead with that. 100%. <laughs> Put the best plays at the front of your yeah. highlight tape. Yeah. And this is for the lead. Tato. Three receivers right. He goes to the near side. Johnson gets bumped, 
and it's incomplete. Oh, wow, we got a tie game. What are we going to do with there's a tie? Have you guys even thought of that? Well, I don't know. We're going to have to uh, probably do Texas shootout. We may be here all night. <laughs> 2.32 left, 20-20. That's a nice play I'm just watching. That, that was a nice defensive play just to yeah. make sure that wasn't converted. So now we are tied, 20-20, 2.32. Eat, the West was up 13 points of five minutes left. Two big plays. In two plays, they went 60 yards. I don't, like this, I don't like this drone here in a close game. The ball's up in the air or something. Yeah. <laughs> like this is that yeah. drone drone's got bad news written all over it. Here we go though. First and ten. West back at it. This is huge. It's looking like a score will win it. Three receivers to his right. He's gonna give it to a more. He's running, but that D line. Yeah, there's a uh, big Newton Benson, as we mentioned. Newton He's Benson a big boy and, to move uh, out of the way there. I think either Tristan Irwood or Griffin O'Connor. I have two yeah. 55s here on, on Lord Tweedsmere because normally yeah. I can tell by the helmet. Yeah. But if they're both, <laughs> they both have the same helmet and they're both 55. I think they but planned Lord it that way. Lord Tweedsmere, yeah. The Lord Tweedsmere boys, plus, like you said, the kid from Kelowna. And also, Who's impressed me? Uh, Grizzenchik from yes. Moet in yeah. there too. That's a he's another stout. grade twelve that's playing, and, yeah. and that's great to see. He's, yeah. he's committed to UBC. Awesome. And uh, so it's nice to see those guys. They're going to be playing against each other. Yeah. Tim and Newton. Here's Hunt deep. He's got oh. Oh, oh out of the hands of Jake Jake Bennett. I think he went out and reached with one. Yeah. He probably could have reached out for two and might have made that catch. But this, this is what you're seeing. You know, Adam, this is what you're seeing. You're seeing guys making plays, talent on the field, yep. like we've seen. They can score quickly. And who doesn't like to play padded football in May? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the best. What else would you rather be doing? Nothing. You can tell by the crowd. You can tell, you know, people, people are enjoying Seeing football and seeing these guys play in, in this in this format. Yeah. The best of the best. And it's gonna be third and ten now. One fifty three left. A big they'll need the first down here. He's gonna take it himself, but he's gonna th he's got someone open. He's got O'Hay, but it oh, looked no. he's out of bounds. Devin O'Hay. And, yeah, I think that happened where because you don't have coaches and stuff. Yeah. Where you just see the blue line, too. You can yes. easily see the blue line. I think sometimes that could be the – and they're going to punt. So the East, who have scored 13 points in the last three minutes, down 13, now have a chance to win it. And we've seen some big plays. First, it was the throw – to Johnson from Tato, and then the big run. The big run by Matt LaBelle. Yeah, let's see if they dial up again with Matt LaBelle. He's certainly somebody that's already shown he can make the big play, make people miss. This uh, defensive line, I noticed they've switched it up a little bit. Don't have the full Mount Doug contingent in there, but. Uh, Nevertheless, a good solid defensive line for the Looks West. Like Krahovic's in there now. Here's Tato. Hey, coach. There's LaBelle. Oh. And that's good for a gain of seven. It looked like big yeah. number two there. Soren Hall Schmidt with yeah. the with the tackle. Another one of those players that uh, represented BC in the Battle of the Best last week. Soren, good, tough football player. From Mount Doug. Yeah, at least I've seen 13 or 14 Mount Doug helmets throughout this whole day. Yeah. Well, they get be they get behind this stuff, and certainly, yes. uh, you know, they see the value for their players to take part. For sure. 
And he keeps going. Oh my goodness, Matt what a LaBelle great Matt LaBelle taking this game over with a minute 19 left. He's, that was an outstanding run, just bouncing off people. And another Small first player, down. he's one of the smallest players on the field, but man, is yeah, he playing five, tough. 5'7", 130. Yeah, man, is he playing tough. If you move your feet that fast, you, you normally win the battle, right? Yeah. And here's Tato looking to pass, gets some pressure, but he cuts up the middle, takes off himself, gets away from one, two guys, and he's taken down after a gain of 20 at the 28-yard line, 59 seconds left. The East call a timeout. And this is where I think a guy like Nathan Humes comes back in the game because we've seen him make some big catches up the seams, kind of from the yeah. tight end, H-back position. But still, what an exciting game so far. Yeah, there's a, you can see the West defense a little bit on their heels because, as you mentioned, a couple of scores and you're late in the fourth quarter. Yeah. You know, you're looking for a big play from somebody on defense. Got Coach Ray Moon out there on the field directing the defense. Yeah, and I was saying earlier, just great coaching staff all around, especially in this final game. I would like to, the, the, the win totals of both benches in this final game in yeah. high school football has to be over 500. Yeah, you know, the, the, that's one of the best things. And I think, you know, we don't talk about it enough, but obviously, uh, you know, I'm a big proponent of having great coaches. And, yeah. you know, these kids are treated to uh, some real good coaching. And, mm -hmm. you know, when I t mentioned about getting better, that's one of the pieces yes. is you get better in these situations because yes. of the coaching that you're exposed to. So. LaBelle up the gut. You, you see him go in those scrums yeah, and you, you, you just know. think, yeah, you're just waiting for him to all of a sudden pop out of there now. So They're going to call a timeout again. I think they have one remaining. They still picked up about a gain of two. Maybe not half a yard. Actually, no timeout. Just the coaches are all over the place. Yeah, coach is getting excited at yeah. this point too. Tato rolls out. He's got Johnson there. He's got Johnson. Catches oh. and gets out of bounds. Bryson Johnson has had a great second half. I know they were trying to find him in the first half, but in the second half, they've really gotten the ball to him. And that's a first down, 30 seconds left. He was out of bounds. And wow, 30 seconds left. First and 10. Because the downs don't matter that much anymore, but it, they're they're 15 yards out from winning the first annual BC version of the Fox 40. Yeah, this is Prospect exciting stuff. Challenge. And this could make it three all three wins from the East, which I think. Yeah. You know, being a guy that would play on the West team, I think uh, the East kind of want to give it to the West a bit. Here's Johnson up in the air. Oh, oh yeah. just incomplete. Nice defense there, and it's nice to see we got uh, you know guys from the CFC that do the top 100 across the country, yep. and they're frantically asking for players and yep. who are they, where did they come from? So certainly guys being identified, and watch for that CFC top 100. Yeah, well, uh, CanadaFootballChat.com, the nation's number one amateur football recruiting and news site, recently launched the Class 28 CFC 100 top player rankings, the list compiled in the last four months by CFC Scouting Bureau. And They're here, here we today. go. 15 yards out. Second and 10. Tato, under pressure, gets rid of it. It's just incomplete. And now we're looking at third down. Yeah, it's exciting to see these guys 
in this tough situation, it's always good. You know, when you get a situation like this, it really brings out the best. Cause For sure. Making plays at important times of the game, when the game's on the line, that's where you find the cream of the crop. And it's third and 10, 15 yards out from a touchdown. Tato's gonna, and this oh. time, put the ball away. <laughs> I think that is a tandem of Grahovic and also Hallschmidt there. Number, yeah. Number 53 and two from Mount Doug. So now it's fourth down, 13 seconds left. You, I guess fourth you gotta down. go end zone. You gotta give it a shot, you got 13 seconds left, you know. You got so much talent on the field. You got guys that have made plays already. Put the hands with, put the ball in the hands of Tato and let's go. Yep. I think this is where you, I, in this situation, I think you got to look at Humes. Just, you know, being 6'5", and we saw, he, I've, I, I've seen him on this field against Terry Fox, actually, in a playoff game. Yes. Make yeah. two <laughs> amazing catches, so. Yeah. He has that ability if you need a jump ball. Obviously, yeah. it's it's 15 yards out, so they can't play too safe because you can do something underneath if they give you the room. Yeah, this is this got it. This has a seam to Humes written all over it. Three to the left. Yeah, it's 13 th seconds left. No, oh, he's it's got the it Johnson. Oh, nice defensive play there. You got they, the ball they, out. They do have a flag. I think they got him on a hold because it was an out and up by the receiver. And I think just as he turned to go back up, I think there was a little pull. That's, that's what it was. And yeah, it was a hold, so it's going to be... They're going to... They place the ball no, at the one-yard one line. Yard line. Wow. Does it get any better than this? You know what? Those couple things to Johnson, I wonder if Travis Bell wanted to Highlight his wish. own receiver? No, no, because, you know, obviously Bryson Johnson, a great 12 player. Yeah. Right? This could, you know, playing playing with him. Yeah. And he's played an unbelievable game and, and well worth the, the catches he's made. And now... Five seconds left. I don't think they have a first down. I don't know what you would do here. Maybe give it to LaBelle. He's got you this far. Yeah. it's Or just run it yourself. It's LaBelle. It's LaBelle. I don't think he got in. He's I don't stuck. think he got in. <laughs> There's still. It, it, I think they, had a, they must have had a timeout left. Yeah. They had one timeout left. There's 0 0.85 seconds left. And we have this game. <laughs> this is the last play. <laughs> Just insane. What a way to end this great day of football here. All thanks to CanadaFootballChat.com and the Fox 40 Prospect Challenge. Nice to see this when you start this process, when we started this process in January and not sure how it was all going to end yeah, up. When you see it on the this, first one. It's, uh, it's outstanding. And after this, a lot more people are going to be want to be a part of this, that's for sure. Oh. oh, they're going. They got Johnson there. I think this is going to go to Johnson. Um, might go to Humes because he's in the number. Oh, low <laughs> snap. Throw it up. Uh, his knee was down. And his knee's down. His knee's, his knee's down. That's it. Is Are we going to get some Texas shootout or? Yeah. Or, or, or maybe. That's it. We got a tie. It's a tie. What a great game, though. Thanks for everyone who watched. Thanks for CanadaFootballChat.com for putting this great event on. What a day. We'll get uh, the awards to you right now. 2020 tie. The East versus the West, and what a finish. I guess it's somewhat fitting that this game ends in a tie. It's an all-star game. 
That was a lot of fun. Offensive MVP. Pitt Meadows. Tato Ferreira Herrera from Pitt Meadows QB is their East Offensive MVP in this one. Newton Benson is the defensive. Defensive player of the game for the East out of Kelowna. All right, your next offensive MVP, number four, quarterback, Nate Hunt from Holocaust. Nate Hunt is the offensive MVP for the West. And defensive MVP for the West Ball Cover 2, linebacker, Soren Hulschmidt. Soren Hulschmidt. Defensive lineman for Mount Douglas is the defensive MVP. And I think I know who's going to be the MVP. From Mount Bougerie. From the East Squad, running back number 25, Matt LaBelle. Matt had an unbelievable game. He's their game's MVP. Smallest guy in the field, but played had the biggest game. He's the MVP. Thanks everyone for watching. Fox 40 Prospect Challenge on the stream. Everyone remember to check out CanadaFootballChat.com for all your recruiting and stories and amateur football. Thanks for watching. I'm Adam Kordick. Take care.